Show of hands, how many of you use video games as a source of entertainment? Yes, I agree. Video games are just for fun. Saturday morning, you head to the store to pick up the latest World of Warcraft expansion. You head back home, lock yourself in your TV room, and become a couch potato. <laughs> your adrenaline rushes through your head as you see your in-game character pop up in the screen. The next thing you know, you're bored of the game and have restarted the whole process of going back to the store, yet buying another game simply for more fun. Right? Right? Right. right. <laughs> yes, video games were made to entertain, but I'm here to tell you that video games are more than for just entertainment or temporary retreat. Some might interpret playing games as a waste of time, a stress reliever, or as a holiday resort where you can forget your everyday routine. As a person who wants to pursue a career path in gaming, I can tell you that a game is more than just entertainment. Video games are a way to communicate with the developers who put their very heart and soul into the game. It's the extensive exploration of various settings from the deepest part of the sea to the far stretch of land. And it is indeed the hub of creativity. You may have experienced seeing your close friends or yourself stuck in the well-known black hole of video games. As difficult as it is, you find the to lift your eyes off the screen to look at the clock. You look back down saying, oh, it's only 9 p.m., I'll stop after two hours and continue playing. You look back up and, whoa, it's already 1 a.m.? <laughs> One may say the time playing video games feels unbelievably shorter than sleeping. <laughs> It is an interesting fact that even the people who are unable to concentrate for an extended period of time can spend hours playing video games. Let me tell you something you might have not known. An average game usually takes around 50 hours of intense concentration to finish. It's the mysterious powers of video games. <laughs> now, it's the time for you to discover what is required to make a game. Most know that development of a game takes a longer time than actually playing the game. As much as we like to spend several hours gaming, a development of a game can take up to 10,000 hours, or in some cases, even more. Basically, it takes a lot of time. Creating a game can definitely be complicated, and in some cases might even take longer than making blockbuster movies. Worst of all, Time seems to pass in slow motion because of all the anticipation of that one game you're waiting for. Okay, now, the game you finished in a few sittings by becoming a cash potato actually went through a long development process. Now, it depends on what kind of genre of the game the creators want, but first you have to start with the storyline, drawing concept art, refining characters, coding, some might even choose to cast for voice actors or hire people for accurate motion capture. And that's not all. After that comes selecting 2D or 3D graphics for the suitable environment, then adding background music, etc. So, now spending all those 10,000 hours on all these factors, what will the final project look like? Introducing you, Duskers, a remarkable survival drone controlling game. If there are any survivors out there listening, please respond. I'm dangerously low on supplies, but I've repurposed some salvage drones to explore all these derelict ships and gather what I can from them. Been to over 20 ships now. I haven't even found a single body. I can only power the ships in the area at a time, but it gives me access to the ship's systems, airlocks, ship defenses useful for when the motion sensors pick up movement. Whatever is moving in there, it's curious. They seem to be running into them more frequently. Have you ever read a section of a book describing a setting and wondered what it will actually look like in real life? Take Harry Potter, for example. Yes, 
J.K. Rowling does an amazing job describing the setting, but what if what you imagined the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry looked like in your head was different from what the author had imagined in her mind? This is once again where the powers of video games shine. Music, stories, movies, all elements mashed up together. These are the developers' methods of communication. Making your imaginary world into something you can see clearly. Making it into a virtual reality. What is virtual reality? It is the ability to communicate with the art art artificial environment that was made through technology. Boom. Here's a way for you to communicate your own world. Anyone, including you, could share their own vision of a virtual world. For instance, Abzu. In this particular game, players can explore beautiful ocean environments filled with colorful fishes. You can hold on to sharks to swim faster and look for ancient artifacts to gain curiosity. Here, let me show you instead of trying to explain it to you. Take your time swimming in the mysterious environment, then you'll be able to realize that this game has a hidden message to it. The creators of Abzu believe that a video game can be more than a pastime. By understanding the hidden message, you'll be able to play the game as if it were a real life experience. Games are also one of the fundamental aspects of creativity. They can be ranged from a block game, such as Minecraft, to a hyper-realistic environment, such as FIFA. The unique aspect of video games is that you can be anywhere, at any time, any place. Imagine yourself walking into a village made out of hard cobblestones and a dragon flies past your head towards the vast horizon. Playing video games are the closest ways to indirectly be anywhere from an unknown fantasy world, before and after apocalypse, the middle age, the coldest part of the world, or space.
have its benefits us. But notice how even if we're not able to live long enough to see this future, we can experience it in the closest way possible through gaming. Gaming can also give you the ability to be create something of yourself. You can be anyone, range from a president, a 911 emergency agent, a baby dragon. <laughs> Dangerous, you can be anyone what you want to be. For instance, my favorite, a slice of bread. <laughs> By playing video games, you can be more than just being you. Now, rethink the answer that you gave me at the beginning of my speech. Are video games really just a source of entertainment? I want to encourage you all to understand and appreciate the complexity of video games. There are so many games out there that deserve to be more than playing just for fun or passing time. Video game creators are constantly trying to maximize the feeling of connection and are pushing players to experience their unique world. Not only will this allow you to enjoy playing the game, but also add more meaning to playing games. So, next time you go to the store to pick up a game, what will you discover? Thank you.